Today I'm going to give a brief demonstration on a feature of a device that many people might not know about. And the ones who know about it might not even know about this feature. And this is on a device called a YubiKey. What is a YubiKey? Well, I'm going to give you the five cent definition. If you want something a lot deeper, you can go look it up and find out yourself. Basically, it's a tool for two-factor authentication. It's something you have for two-factor authentication. Now, it goes a lot deeper than that, but that's the gist. Now, one thing this thing does really cool, or at least the new versions, I bought one of the first ones. It didn't have it, so I had to go buy a $25 one, which is just their basic, their standard YubiKey. This thing has two slots on it. The second slot is free for you to add wherever you want. Now, for you to use a YubiKey, you just take your finger and you press this button to authenticate yourself. Now, if you long press, you can activate slot two. Now, slot two can be anything that you want. It holds a static 38 character password that it then just spits out on the screen. Now, if you want to go ahead and cannibalize the whole YubiKey so it serves no purpose for what it was intended, you can actually use um, the short press slot one for one static password or a long press for slot two for your second password. So I pretty much went through and cannibalized the whole thing and using it just for passwords for something like TrueCrypt. Let me show you. So you open up the YubiKey personalization tool and click on the static password scan code. Now here we have slot one and slot two. Now you don't really want to put the entire password in here because then if somebody gets your YubiKey, they stick it in the machine, they press the finger and boom, they're in there. What you really want to do is pad the beginning of it with something that you know and have the rest be gibberish. Now this thing holds 38 characters, which I don't know how much memory this thing can actually have. I mean, 38 characters, what's it have? Just a few kilobytes? I don't know. So let's go ahead and take this password right here, this long gibberish password. This is from grc.com slash passwords. Now this part, I think this might be 38 characters, you would keep on the YubiKey, but you would then remember something you pad at the beginning of it. For instance, um, we're gonna do, we're gonna fill up both slots. Um, let's pad the beginning of this with something crazy as an example. Say my name, Heisenberg. God damn right. <laughs> Sorry, had to do it. Breaking bad reference. So you would type in my name, Heisenberg, and then press your finger and it would put in this. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and just copy this portion of it. And we're going to go ahead and we can use either slot, short press, long press. But for this demonstration, I configured a uh, TrueCrypt partition, which was like three megs with this password, just to give you a basic idea how this would work. I didn't use the padding, but... So we're gonna go ahead and click on this. We're gonna say configure slot two, password length, and I think this might be 38 characters. Okay, 35. Um, I don't know if my TrueCrypt had that space at the end. We're gonna go ahead and back it off to 34. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and say write configuration. Eh, go ahead and save it. YubiKey has been successfully configured. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up TrueCrypt and let's go ahead and press mount. So now I've got to turn my camera on so you can see what I'm doing here. So now if I take my finger and long press, assuming I didn't actually save the space at the end, we're gonna go ahead and take my finger, long press, release. Boom, there we go. How cool is that? Now, you might want to actually save this somewhere, um, a text document, or give it to a friend. All they would have is the second half of the password. They wouldn't know the beginning of it. Remember the first half, and then you can save the gibberish out in a text file or whatever. But this just makes it easier to input a very strong password into something like TrueCrypt. Now, very brief demonstration. So, this was kind of a techie demo, so anybody who actually understood what I was saying they see how cool this is, and uh, it's $35 for this YubiKey, and if you want to cannibalize it, you can actually store two passwords, 
one short press, one long press. This has just been a brief demonstration of configuring the YubiKey for two static passwords. Thanks.